y'all, Jim Panky here. I've had a lot of requests for this one, and I've, I've kind of put it off simply because it's mostly just, uh, it's just the intro. And pretty much the only thing you'll do as a banjo player on this is just that intro. But I'm, I want to walk you through this and show you what I do and give you some ideas on what to do as far as playing backup. Uh, I just mostly play rolls and chords. So let's walk through first what I'm doing for the intro, and then I'll show you how, the, how I roll and some ideas to try over the vocals. And I'll sing a little bit as, as I demo it. So the kickoff, though, that I just played is pretty simple. So let's look at that. But before we do, I'd really appreciate it if y'all would like and subscribe to my channel. Helps me out a bunch, and uh, it, it, it's just, it's a lot of fun, and it'll bring you good luck, I promise. All right, so let's look at this intro. I started out with just a pinch on the first and second strings, just with my fingers. Two of those, and then we're going to do a little melodic lick that sounds like. And so you're going to hold your first finger, third string, fifth fret, and then your ring finger at the uh, fourth string, seventh fret. You'd think I could count by this point, but I'm telling you. And uh, the right hand. So it's three, two, four, and then three is open. So you got your pinch. And then we're going to hammer on. And I, you can, you can hammer on just to the third string, second fret. And it's a three, five, one. But sometimes I'll go ahead and grab that whole A minor chord or C chord. It doesn't, doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. It's just whatever you like. So your choice on that one. So up to that point, let's do. So there's a hammer five one, and then, and that's a hammer four two three one, holding that C chord, and then. Three, three. So you're going to three with the thumb. Pick that finger up. Three with the index. Four, one. So you're putting that finger back down. So four, two, three, one, three, two, four, one. And then hit your third string. And then any, any G tag will work. So that intro. One more time. Can hit that first string and that's your kickoff and then we've got to have something for the chord changes something to play while people are singing but as a banjo player that right there is your primary responsibility so the kickoff And then the verse goes, everybody, it's just a C chord, knows the reason for the fall. When a woman can keep me down in paradise's hall. Woman tempted me, all right, she took me for a ride. Now I'm like a lonely fox, boy, 
knows I need a place to hide. And all that's going on there is I'm playing a forward and reverse roll whenever I can. Everybody knows the reason for the fall. And then C chord, you can play a forward roll. When the whole man you can do Cripple Creek rolls. Man down in. Then it goes to A. Paradise is home. And I'm just doing a forward roll and ending with a forward in reverse. This C chord. Woman. Woman tempted me all right, she. And I'm just doing forward rolls. Then a forward in reverse on the D7 if you wanted to. Took me for a... You can do pinches. Ride and a slide. Like a lonely fox, boys, I need a place to hide. And that gets you through the verse. And, and folks, literally, anything that you wanted to play, any any roll pattern you wanted to play, you can play, you can play alternating rolls over all that. Everybody knows the reason for the fall. When a woman tempted man down in paradise's hall, this woman tempted me all right. She took me for a ride. Why I'm like a lonely fox, boys, I need a place to hide. Seriously, you could play that, and it'll be okay because people are going to be singing. You don't necessarily need to be playing anything fancy. Really, you shouldn't. Just play something that you can play. I like to switch it up. I might do a alternating roll for one chord, and when I change chord, I may go to a forward and reverse, or I may go to a forward roll. I just mix it up. Sometimes I'll put Cripple Creek slides if I can, if they if they sound right. So that's that's what I'm doing there. And then the chorus is the... It's, it's where we derive our kickoff from, but the chorus is going to go, and it's the part where they have the like a fox, like a fox, like a fox. That all happens, so I'm going to give you some ideas and some tips to try on that. She walks through the corn, leading down to the river. Her hair shone like gold in the hot morning sun. show you something that happens a lot of times whenever you hear this song it, it I get a little tongue-tied every now and then I can't help it but it's the she walks through and a lot of times they will stop on those she walks through they'll just pinch those or you can pinch them or you can vamp them or whatever works for you and it's it's just on the G chord she walks through, and sometimes I'll even mute the strings. She walks through the corn, leading, so just that. But you don't have to. You could go, she walks through the corn, leading down to the river. But if you hear everybody else stop, then next time it comes around, they're going to stop again. And so you could go ahead and stop, and you could be, like, extra cool. <laughs> and it, it's going to sound good, so just... Or you can just do pinches. Walks through the corn, leading down to the river. Her hair shone like gold in the hot morning sun. And any G lick on the in between. She took all the love that poor boy could give her. This part where they're going to do the little octaves, or the well, not octaves, but the harmony parts, fox like a fox, like a fox, and you're going to do those. You can kind of emulate that because it's going to be in C. So I like to do this Foggy Mountain breakdown and all the two one two one five two one five at that C, then do it at this C, and then this, this C. On the run, and you can 
to stop and wait for them to sing that on the run part. So it's like a fox, like a fox, like a fox, on the run. And now it's time for the banjo to do the kickoff or the break. And it goes back to the same thing. And sometimes I will, at this point, to keep the timing tight, I will just do a 4-3, four, 4-3. Three, four, three. And then we go into the song. And we're just playing rolling back up. So that gives you at least a good idea of what you can do with Fox on the Run. And I've been playing this song a long time. It was one of the songs that we used to play when I was in high school with my FFA string band. So, hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Appreciate y'all. See you next time. Bye.